Fiero, you're still here. Yeah, Sal's gonna take care of you. Do you copy? Who, who doesn't? Not me. I hot chocolate. <laughs> I feel better and that shower definitely helped, but I'm still sick. I don't think I'm gonna leave this dorm room at all today. Great, couch potato day. Whole day of just vegging out. <laughs> Uh, album? Yeah. What's up with your room? Uh, why, whatever do you mean? Uh, look at this place. It's freaking huge. It's bigger than my room, and I'm a prince. I have castles. I mean, what does a guy have to do to get a room like this? All right, can you keep a secret? Is it that you really dig this hat, despite the fact that Galinda gave it to you only because she thought it was absolutely hideous? That's not the secret. Oh. Well. Newsflash. This hat is bitchin'. <laughs> or should I say witchin', rather? I know, right? That hat is cool. It's everybody else who's crazy. <laughs> wait, wait. Fear, focus. Okay. I magic a bigger room for Belinda and me. Way bigger. <laughs> okay, so I added a few embellishments. It was Galinda's idea and she helped. A little. You're not gonna tell anyone, are you? Don't worry, I won't tell a soul. I'm actually kind of impressed. Look at you breaking rules and such. What if you get expelled? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> very funny. <clears throat> Ugh, don't make me laugh. I'm still sick, remember? Well. Let the benching out begin. Madam, your big fluffy couch awaits you. All right, fine, but I... We're gonna have to get some studying done today. Totally. I'm serious, Fiero. Me too. Get started with this big scary book. Oh, you think you'll have the spell that'll turn my room into a castle? Oh my god, where did you get that? It's under your chair. Oh, this one will do the Wait, trick for so sure. La him. Wait a second, that's very dangerous. You La le fret. Oh, 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 oh. Stop! Whoa. Did you see that? I don't think this magic stuff is as hard as you make it seem. Yeah, sure. Whoa. You all right? Just a little dizzy. You know, I think you're right. I just need a day to relax. I'll study when I feel up to it. Yeah, sit down. Um, I'll put something on the TV. What do you feel like watching? Anything. You choose. All right. Okay. You didn't like it? How could you not like it? I don't really like the mushy stuff. It something about it seems so fake, you know? Well, have you ever been in love with someone? Me? No, of course I haven't. Why do you say it like that? Because I'm green, remember? Oh yeah. You know what's funny? What? Sometimes I forget you're green. It's like, I don't even notice it. Really? Yeah. So, who knows? Maybe you're not doomed to a loveless life just because you're green. Maybe 
there's someone out there in the world that can see beyond that. Like who? I don't know. Have you ever had a crush on someone? Me? No, are, are you kidding? No. I mean, of course I found people attractive, but I just shut those feelings down pretty quickly. I mean, why open my heart to something that'll never happen? Well, plenty of people out there in the world. Who knows what's gonna happen? Never say never. Or at least I don't think. Dang. And that was my stomach. Oh, are you hungry? Because I can eat. I can heat up some of that soup that I brought. I mean, if it's not too much trouble, I am a little hungry. Okay, let's chicken soup it is. Magic to harness this speech. Please don't make me say it. Fastas. Pizza. <laughs> All right, I love pizza. Thank you. <laughs> this has been like really fun. Well, everyone deserves to be taken care of when they're sick. You keep saying that. Your parents must have been amazing. <laughs> no way. No, my mom was too busy getting her hair done, eyebrows done, nails done, and everything else in between done to care whatever the hell I was doing. What about your father? Like oh, that old man that I look like? <laughs> no, he was too busy with either work or swinging so a new woman every week to make time for me. My parents are terrible people. I'm so sorry. Don't be. Pretty much known that my entire life. No, I was raised by my nanny. <laughs> Wait, you had a nanny? <laughs> You're an everyone? Huh. Anyway, her name was Ixana. She was hired when I was three and basically did everything a mother would do without actually being my mother. What was she like? Strict, but fair. She was jolly and enjoyed having a good time as long as it was orderly. What did she look like? Oh, she was a big woman. Uh, tall? No, I'm like... You know. Oh, that make me sick. You know how people have a sweet tooth? Go oh, She has sweet teeth. Okay. Anyways, none of that matters. No. Everyone loved her. She was the greatest baker. And she would hand out baked goods to everyone in town. She would always be there whenever somebody needed help. She would always make everyone smile. She would... She was beautiful. Sounds like it. What happened to her? She, um... She, she got sick. When I was, uh... 16 and she, and she, she died. Do you miss her? Every day. Things just uh, haven't been the same ever since. You will not spook 
sleeve night that I just had. Galinda, I'm so glad you got home safely. You look like you had a fun night. I did. Or at least I was told that I did. It was a really fun night, but I looked everywhere for you. Where were you? Why are you here? I was there. Yeah, I was looking for you too. But you know what happened? I might have had a little too much to drink. No, I had. I definitely had a little whole lot of too much to drink. And my boys, they saw that in me and they wanted to get me back to my dorm room and keep me out of trouble and stuff. But me, see, I wanted to keep looking for you. I wanted to keep looking at you and this whole sexy ensemble get up you got going. So that's why I came back. You know? I came back here and you weren't here. Oh, I was at Evanora's trying to sleep off this massive hangover. Yeah, well, I waited. Right? I waited. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> He's only here for you. Oh, hero. I love that you care, but I really, I could not entertain in my current state. That's no problem at all. We just make some time in your schedule very soon, yeah? Okay. Do that? You bet I will. All right. <laughs> all right. Goodbye, Linda. Bye. That man melts me like hot wax. Ew. Ew? You're going to talk an entire pizza to yourself? <laughs> you want a slice? I thought you'd never have. <laughs> oh, yeah, how are you feeling? You know what? I'm feeling much better. That's <laughs> good. I feel bad that I didn't really even care when you were sick and now here I am with this massive hangover. I hate karma. I vow to never drink again. At least until the next party. <laughs> it's okay, I'll take care of you. Yes. Hey, Alphaba. Yeah? I was here, I'm so dressed for Austin's. 